Hey, what's going on? Another video here on the Fomo Cobra YouTube channel, and today I have something uh, hopefully informative. And uh, I'm gonna test out a product I've never tried before because the Fox Body, of course, has a unfortunately, well, actually, it's more or less unfortunate for my bank account, less unfortunate for the car, the fact that I ended up buying a bad radiator new. But that's all right because I think I have a fix for it and that comes in the form of this stuff right here. Bars leak, liquid aluminum, cooling system, radiator, and heater core stop leak, stops overheating, reduces water temperature, safe to use, seals instantly, stops coolant links, guaranteed. So this should save me some money, maybe, hopefully, uh, and not cause more damages to the car. And, I'll have a nice running box body here at the end of the video. Okay. Just gotta take care of some things here first before we start the video. Just letting the car charge overnight, so I knew it would be fine to start and do everything I need to do. Let's get that out of the way. All right, so here's the culprit right here. It's wonderfully bad. Not so sure why it's not working, but it's not working radiator. And if you can see, you can see some liquid puddled up on the bottom there. So I'm curious to know exactly where it's leaking. I actually don't even have a clue. I think it's somewhere down here, somewhere, but that's never been confirmed. Either way, hopefully it gets fixed. All right, let me get the radiator cap off there. All right, that was barely on there, probably because I didn't put it on there la tightly last time. Put a funnel on there because this stuff doesn't look like you want to get it all over the place. All right, so pretty simple stuff here to use. Nothing too fancy, I think I can manage. And uh, let's see here, if we read, uh, it's simple, right here. Instructions, allow engine to cool, make sure engine is cool enough to be radiator, so radiator cap can be safely removed, shake well, pour the liquid aluminum directly into radiator. Wonderful, one bottle treat systems up to four gallons, use half bottle for three and four cylinder engines. Well, it is a four cylinder engine, so I'm gonna use a whole bottle. <laughs> because I, want maximum stop leakage. All right. Here we go. Let's see if this really does work. Oh, 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 that is some goopy stuff. Oh no, oh boy. All right, I just have to step away and get a towel here. This stuff's gonna get everywhere if I don't. So there it is. It's all in there now. Uh, so I guess let's finish reading those directions. Okay, so it just says, uh, let's see here. Fill radiator, everything to proper level, reinstall cap. Drive idle engine for 15, 20 minutes. If leak continues, second application may be required. Like I said, full bottle. <laughs> all right. All right, so I don't have any coolant at the moment but I have hose and hose has water and water works really well for heat dissipation. So we're gonna fill it up with some water here and top everything off and hopefully we should be good to go. Oh, oh God, oh God. Oh, gee, oh, okay, that went everywhere. Hold on. All right, well, that's full and wet. The radiator cap back on. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Come on. A little tricky to get it on there. There we go. Beautiful. Next step, start the car and uh, just let it warm up and let it do its thing. Honestly, little guy 
because sealing tuned right uh, gets up the heat up the temp pretty quickly so shouldn't have to wait too long before everything's nice and hot let the car run once it gets warmed up i'll, uh, I'll come back to this okay so the car's been running for a little while now should be nice and warm uh, i'm gonna go get my uh, infrared temp gun set the I'm going to set the camera on the uh, tripod here. I want to check the temp on the radiator. So far, so good. I don't see anything leaking. So, so far, we're, <laughs> we're on the right track. So, let me set the camera down. I'm going to go get the uh, thermometer. Oh! What in good God? No way. Dude, I, th I swear I think the freaking radiator just blew a hole in itself. Oh my God, it's so wet down there. What the hell just happened? What the hell? Dude. Dude, everything is, f oh my God, dude. What just happened? I'm shocked. I, I don't even, I don't even know how that's even possible. So much for saving myself money. All right, well, I guess now um, I can take the radiator out and assess the damages. So let me do that. All right. Set this down. Um, I guess let's take a look at it. See what I see is from this side. No way. Holy crap. No freaking way, dude. No way I can have this luck. Holy crap. Dude, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Look at that. Whole freaking this seam right here just blew out. No way, dude. No freaking way. I don't think that's where the leak was coming from before, though. It certainly is now. Holy crap. Why did that, how did that even happen? Why did it build up so much pressure like that? I mean, it just, it just doesn't just do that on its own. It had to build pressure. Everything else seems fine. Like, I don't see anywhere down here. I mean, they ain't great welds, but they're there. Um, oh my God, dude. How does that even happen? Seriously, how does that even happen? Dude, I'm sweating my ass off. It's like 90 degrees out here, like over 90 degrees. Oh my God, I'm, I'm covered in everything just to determine that, oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> I guess maybe this was not the stuff I should have used. There is no way that happens. No way. I can't believe it. Okay, well. Moving on, I guess. Wow. I suppose this went from an informal how-to video to uh, informal how not to do video. Oh, God. I can't, like, I can't win with these cars. I cannot win. All right, well, I mean, there's not much more I can do uh, at this point, so. So I guess that is gonna be it for this video. Um, I'll be sure to give an update once I figure out all of this. 
uh, yeah. Anyways, so that is it for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you want to see more content like this, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next true Ford enthusiast video.